This is my first grandson. Uh, I knew I wanted to be an artist from the time I was four years old. I generally work very large scale. I went to, to classes at the Brooklyn Museum when I was eight. These are five by made jewelry when I was a kid. These are four by six. Worked in a jewelry store in the village in New York. And the things that I wanted to plan with these pieces are to integrate the digital photographs with the collagraph so that they feel like part of the piece. Undergraduate was industrial design. And not an add-on. That is really important to me. Sculpture for graduate school. And then these four-legged objects, which are in all of them and repeated. Change is printmaking, and that's what I've been doing ever since. Remind me of three different things. One is the basic part of architecture, which is post and lintel. I has four-legged tables and as either figure on all fours or like animal crawling up the sides of a building. The building itself is a building designed and built in 1890s in Jamestown, Rhode Island. I have no idea why it's called Horsehead, but it's called Horsehead. And it is a fabulous big old mansion. It's very shabby chic inside. It overlooks uh, Narragansett Bay and the Atlantic Ocean. And it is a gorgeous spot. After the building, the lawn became a very important part of the piece because this building sort of sits in, in the middle of a huge lawn on top of a big rocky um, point. And basically that's what I've done and try to make a variation of this building from all sides so that you get a view of it walking all around it. A digital print of a five by eight and a half piece. It's the kind of structure that I can hang all my marks on. So. I've been doing a series, and these are 10, 12 pieces that are smaller. Terrific. Okay. Terrific. I like the way Hang shows. Nice space. I'm interested in the images. I'm interested in making printmaking into an art form rather than just making prints. What I like to do is I control the art with the plate, not with how I wipe it. The inking and wiping remain the same no matter what I do. But the plate is what, where the art is made. You have to have some control over that. I, mean, I don't want to fake it by wiping some parts more or some parts less or leaving too much ink on or not leaving too much ink on. So I don't do any of that. So that's, I mean, this is an intaglio process. It's printing from the lower surfaces. I ink it up, the whole thing is black when I start, and then I wipe it and all the grays and the subtleties come out. And then it's fin when it's all wiped, I take the digital photograph and turn it over and place it on the plate so that when I run it through the press, the ink from the plate is picked up on the photograph. And that's what makes it look integrated. Otherwise, it would be just a glued on photograph, an add-on rather than an integrated part. And that's what I'm interested in. It has a five foot by 10 foot bed and prints absolutely gorgeous. Love. I don't clean it clean. Most printmakers are without preserve. <laughs> but I've worked on this process on and off for almost 40 years and uh, developed it to the point where there's so much more control, where the scale has gotten bigger, the materials have changed. Mm -hmm. It's a complete uh, process with no chemistry that is toxic, so anybody can use it. You can use it in a non ventilated room. It's great stuff. I mean, it's really very safe to use. Polyester canvas I use. It's archival. I glue the paper to the canvas and then I stretch it. When I stretch them, I stretch them soaking wet so that the paper stretches. It looks like it's never going to flatten out because it looks floppy and all that stuff. When it dries, it dries tight as a drum. And you can see how I register it to fit the building. All these the edges are clean and they look like uh, almost real art, like paintings. <laughs> and then these things. Uh, I now have a second grandson, and both of them will appear in the next series of work. How the form will take place, I have no idea, but they will appear. <laughs>